Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about uh, spirulina and chlorella, which are the foundation of nutritional health. Uh, spirulina and chlorella are the king of all foods. They're the king of all superfoods. You know, we've heard a lot about uh, berries and herbs and roots, and uh, nothing compares with spirulina and chlorella. There's two types of algae. They are complete foods. Uh, they've got uh, fat, proteins, carbohydrates, and of course chlorella has this incredibly detoxifying fiber. Um, I guess um, seaweed and grasses would be the next best complete foods because they also have uh, fats, proteins, carbohydrates. Um, but for instance, things like we've heard about goji berries or ginkgo biloba or maca, uh, these are powerful foods, but they are not complete foods and you couldn't live on them exclusively. Now, spirulina and chlorella have the broadest array of nutrients and are the most nutritionally dense foods in the world. Nothing comes close. You could live on either one of these foods or both of them exclusively and be perfectly healthy. Uh, you would want to, you know, follow the other five components of my health protocol. But, um, it, you know, if you had to and you wanted to live on just spirulina and chlorella exclusively, um, you'd be very, very healthy. Now, ideally, you would want a broad array of, of uh, foods in your diet, as many as possible, 100, 200 a year, 300 a year, whatever you can get in there. And, of course, uh, vegan foods and raw foods, uh, raw fruits and vegetables. That's what um, that part of my health protocol, and that's what I recommend more than anything else. Now, I refer to spirulina and chlorella as the three kings because they have the most amount of protein, the most amount of chlorophyll, and the highest amounts of nucleic acids of any foods. Now, protein, um, you know, very, very un uh, misunderstood nutrient, uh, a key nutrient in the body. Um, spirulina and chlorella have 18 different amino acids in the right ratio to one another, and they're 60% protein. But if you take a small handful with everything you eat, um, anywhere from, say, 2 to 3 grams, um, of, of spirulina and or chlorella. Um, that's all the protein you're going to need for that meal. Uh, I and I take, if you work out a lot like I do, uh, I actually eat a little more than that. I probably take around 15 grams of spirulina and chlorella combined each and every day, but I am very, very active and I work out hard every single day. So you might need a little more, but the average person, if you just want to do it for your meal, um, what I tell people is use that small handful. And then if you want to eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, Along with that, that's strictly for the taste. You don't need it nutritionally, and you need protein with everything you eat to properly digest your food. Now, uh, the spirulina and chlorella are also the king of uh, chlorophyll. They have the highest amounts of chlorophyll of any um, of any foods. In particular, chlorella, are really off the charts, higher than any um, any other foods where it gets its name from, uh, chlorella. So, um, I, um, I chlorella is chlorophyll is the most important nutrient needed by the body. Uh, it is the life referred to as the lifeblood of plants, and um, that's because um, of the chlorophyll molecule and the um, blood cell molecule are identical, except a blood cell has iron at the center of it, and um, chlorophyll has uh, a magnesium uh, molecule at the center of it. So other than that, they're absolutely identical to one another, and again, why they're referred to as the light blood of plants. Now, the other thing is uh, it's the king of nucleic acids. Most people don't know what that is, but that is RNA and DNA. These are the blueprint, bl blueprints of our cells, they're, and they're critical for cell reproduction or replication. And so when your your cell is dividing and then dividing again, it's important that you get as close to a copy as the original as possible. And if you don't, well, then that, that's when you begin to really age very dramatically. And we run out of nucleic acid, acids in the body as we get older because the body doesn't store them and we're not, uh, we don't eat foods that really have enough nucleic acids. So uh, nucleic acids are one of the keys to longevity. There are many, many keys out there. It's not the key, but it's definitely one of the most important ones. Um, and I just don't hear very many people talking about it as one of the really important uh, keys to longevity, and that is nucleic acids. And, and it, they're really, it's hard to ignore those um, and very, very important. And if you're really looking for high amounts of nucleic acids, then you'd want to go to CGF or chlorella growth factor. Um, this is concentrated chlorella. This has things like polypeptides, polysaccharides, nuclear peptides, and, of course, nucleic acids concentrated very, very highly. Highly 
um, into either a liquid or a powder. I supplement my diet with those every day. Now, um, getting back, uh, Spirulina and Chlorella also have a lot of fat in them, about 6%. They have ALA, alpha linoleic acid, or GLA, gamma linoleic acid, uh, is great for the ba brain, and of course, they perform functions all over the body. And as far as the minerals that you're going to find, and spirulina and chlorella, um, they're all bioavailable. People, I heard somebody very well known recently question uh, whether chlorella had too much iron, so they saw the amount of iron that was in chlorella, so they stopped taking it. Um, I took a woman's uh, iron levels, which were way low, almost 60% low, and brought them up within two weeks uh, to almost normal levels, and that was by taking both spirulina and chlorella together. So it can be done and can be done very efficiently, but uh, both all the minerals that are in spirulina and chlorella are bioavailable, so they're not going to build up in your body and become harmful. For instance, iron will be, it's bioavailable, either used by the body and absorbed, or it will be um, stored in the liver. And this is not true of iron supplements, which I believe are harmful, and especially synthetic ones, very, very da dangerous. I, I would highly recommend you don't take anything like that. Um, so there are a few detractors of algae out there. I've mentioned them before. But my suggestion is simply don't listen to them. Uh, scientific, the, the, these are both the most, uh, spirulina and chlorella, the most scientifically studied foods in history. I've been taking them for over 15 years. And um, if you really want to be healthy and you want to live a long time, you want to be, uh, you know, a healthy person for your entire life, then my suggestion, make spirulina and chlorella the uh, foundation of your diet.